Hi, Connor Letourneau and Scott Osler here from the San Francisco Chronicle. We're here at Oracle Arena where the Warriors just won game one over the Trail Blazers, 121 to 109. Uh, a really interesting game, back and forth, 22 uh, lead changes, 15 ties in this one. Uh, the, the Blazers' backcourt of C.J. McCollum and, and Damian Lillard was absolutely phenomenal for, through three quarters. And then in that fourth quarter, the, the, Bla the Warriors really locked him down. Specifically, Draymond Green was sensational yep. down the stretch. A couple big blocks. And uh, the Warriors were able to win in convincing fashion. What was your biggest takeaway from well, this one? Well, for one thing, I, I think maybe the Warriors, Connor, would have liked to have blown the Trailblazers off the court and made a big statement in the first game. And they really had to scrap for this one. For, for, for me, for, and for the fans, I think, and for the observers on the outside, it was really exciting. It was kind of, it was, uh, <laughs> It was not just a typical easy first first game of the first round win against an eight, a number eight seed, and it showed that the Warriors, I think, uh, are not going to have a super easy path to the to the finals if they get there or to the championship. To me, it showed that you know everything kind of had to go right for the for the yeah. Blazers over those first three quarters right. for it to be tied 88-88 going into that fourth. And I say that because. Even though they weren't great defensively, the Blazers were never really great defensively. Right. And C.J. McCollum and, and Damian Lillard were just so phenomenal. They didn't get much from their supporting cast. Now, that's going to be a concern for them going forward because Nurkic, Yusuf Nurkic, uh, their Bosnian big man who kind of helped turn the course yeah. of their, change the course of their season after getting traded for from uh, Denver in February, is what didn't play today. His status is up in the air for game two. If he can't come back, we're, the Blazers are going to have no choice but to lean heavily again on Lillard and McCollum. And if they can't get more out of, out of that supporting cast, it's going to be hard for them to steal a game or two. Yeah, if, if a million points from those two guys is, wasn't enough to steal game two, it's not going to be a good formula for the rest of the series. I think one thing this game showed, Connor, is the importance of this phenomenal energy that Draymond Green, and to a smaller extent for a smaller role, JaVale McGee, yeah. bring to this team. Because they got a great team, and they're going to wear teams down and beat team, most teams because of their offensive might and defensive uh, scrappiness and all that stuff. But there are times like tonight when they just need that ferocious burst of crazy of craziness that a guy like Draymond Green brings. And that, yeah. that to me was the way he played tonight. He would have to be now. I know the MVP voting is long gone, but that's an MVP type performance to me. Draymond Green finished with 19 points, nine assists, 12 rebounds, three steals, and five blocks. He is the first player to ever finish with that stat line in NBA playoff history, at least since steals and blocks started being counted in the 1973-74 season. So that kind of puts in context how great his performance was today. Draymond is a guy who needs stakes. He, he levels, yeah. he raises his game a level uh, when the stakes are higher, and we saw that today. He was emotionally charged the entire game, was jawing with the Blazers backcourt much yeah. of this game. And he had a couple of those blocks were were the most sensational blocks I've ever yeah, seen in my absolutely. entire career. He yeah. went up at the apex of the shot when guys were right at the rim on Noah Vonley and uh, Damian Lillard. For a guy who supposedly is not a great down. leaper, those were, <laughs> those are phenomenal blocks. Uh, as always, stay, stay locked and loaded with the San Francisco Chronicles Warriors coverage. We'll be back at it Wednesday for Game 2. I'm Connor Letourneau. Scott Osler. Thank you.